We recording, we recording, yeah, we are recording. Welcome back, fellas, welcome back to my Fisher Tech channel, as always. So, here we are for a fast tech quickie today. So, actually, I've got this laptop. This Samsung laptop, as you can see, which I'm preparing, I'm selling. I'm actually troubleshooting the PC because uh, it was a Windows. It was a Windows 7. Now I'm now I'm tripping it straight to to 2020 with a fresh. Windows update to Windows 10 and there are a few issues uh, one of the issue is the BIOS which needs to be updated for doing such task as you can see we need the battery because the program for updating the BIOS requires the battery makes sense I mean makes sense but if your battery is damaged flat other hand you can update your BIOS I mean even if you don't you're not sure that the issue is the BIOS I, uh, for what I, for what it's on me I shouldn't buy a brand new battery just for checking if the problem is the BIOS so what so I pulled this battery, which now, as you can see, it's cracked open. Now I'll give you the specs. The battery. Here are the specs of the battery. 11.1 volts, 4,400 mAh. These are all the specs, but mostly the important part is this. So what I did? Cracking open those batteries, it's never easy. It's never easy. As them get dam damaged, as you try to open them. But, but this time I managed to open it quite nicely. Yeah, I, I got a cut. Because it's a dirty, it's a dirty job. Always cracking open those batteries. So as you can see, by the way, the cover is still able to fit in place. That's perfect for just updating the BIOS. If I would be able to recover this battery, so the battery laptop as the mobile battery so this is a battery lap this is a battery of a mobile and this is a battery of a laptop as you can see them both have a board right on the top of it here you have the board and here oops that was that and here you have the board what this board does this board it's connected as you can see here to the plus and to the minus and the voltage from the battery will go through this board and then to the mobile this board it's meant the hell was that this this board is meant for regu for um, controlling the charging the discharging and for protection for when the battery will just blow up if you have a dead battery, even if it is laptop or mobile, you should you can try to plug the minus and the plus directly to the exit of the battery. But you be always mindful that you have the board, the controller board in your way. So basically, if we are talking about uh, phone 
like this, I would extremely, folks, with this you have to be extremely careful because we are talking about batteries. Those are metal nitrate, I guess, and this is a lithium battery. So those batteries are extremely dangerous. They can explode. They can pull your fingers. They can burn your face, whatever. They're really bad. So what you have to do, what I would do, would be to really carefully open this captain tape, forget for granting access to the plus and to the minus of the battery. For example, here on the on the phone battery, here is we see a pad, this will be all the plus or the minus, and under here there will be another pad, there will be the minus and the minus. If you want to charge a battery of a mobile externally, you have to connect directly to those and charge it with the power supply now I'll show you. <coughs> to the laptop as you can see I don't know if you can properly see but here we have a black wire this black wire coming out from this side and we got this this black wire here and this red wire right here so <coughs> the batteries are put it all together for granting 11 volts total of the battery so they're put it the plug all together together they make 11 volts as said for the battery of the of the of the mobile we have this board this board right here this board right here uh, on the laptop what it does it does steal the safety features which are oops which are on the uh, mobile battery but uh, considering that the, the the laptop have more rails more power rails this board does split the main voltage to other to, to other tiny voltages for example 3.3 3.3 3.3 3.3 3 .3, 3 .3. okay so this battery you cannot charge it just apply because charging like this i mean from there how you do you have to pull the connection out so in the beginning i pu i put it inside those things not touching for of course for plugging my crocodile clips and for charging but there wasn't charging because there was the board there was the board uh, in the middle so I cut it open and I connect to the minus and to the plus yeah I could dissolve it from the board but I'm pl I plugged it directly like this <coughs> why you cannot charge it from here and you have to charge it like that you cannot charge it from here because basically even the laptop can't charge it from there right now this battery was totally flat it was 11 11 point something volts but now if you test it it gives four maybe four volts on 11 and that's below the threshold the, the safety threshold which is which is programmed into this board <coughs> so you have to go across it for charging the battery is directly yeah, pretty warm but not nothing too bad what i can show you <coughs> when you do this stuff when you do with the power supply as you can see i set it up the voltage of the battery the together voltage of the battery and i set it 1.5 amps now the battery is charging so we have constant voltage this light up here there's no constant current because you can see it's changing but there's constant voltage as you can see plugging the power supply unit setting up the voltage of the battery and uh, i advise you to set up one one half one amp one amp and a half of current just of volt uh, of current <laughs> just for a <coughs> easy peasy charging it does that the power supply will inject this voltage and as the battery will get full 
the current will decrease because there will be less space in the battery so all the same voltage pushed through by the, the current uh, by the current as long as the battery charges the current goes down because there's no place anymore <coughs> when you do this you always mind that the battery will get warm of course now we we'll try to get a reading so we got something as 40 degrees 44 so here on the bottom that's the hot spot and we got as you can see 40 something degrees which is good I mean when you do this procedure you never leave the battery unattended never that's super important now I'm gonna get some fast reading that will say how much the charging is going so we do have 9 9.20 volts it's getting charged <coughs> it's getting charged before it was 4 and something this I don't know <coughs> this would take one hour, an hour and a half, two hours. If you if you set up a not too rude current level amperage, it will take time. But a lower amperage will grant a longer lifespan of the battery because the charging will be slowly, as it is supposed with the stock charger. <coughs> So this board, uh, it's a great safety feature because it, it's really a great safety features. But for repairs, mm, you have to crack the battery open for charging like this. You cannot even test the voltage. You, you can't properly test the voltage because when it was four balls inside this battery and they tried to get a reading from this board, uh, the reading was zero even there was four volts in the batteries the reading was zero <coughs> because the board went in protection mode when a battery a battery goes under the threshold which is set it up in this board <coughs> sorry <coughs> the laptop just can't charge it because it can't uh, establish the connection between this board and the laptop itself for understanding how much current it needs to be pushed in so right now <coughs> I'm trying to achieving a complete charging as you can see right there <coughs> Yeah, it's a mess. My table, it's a mess because uh, I'm actually super working. <laughs> so as you can see now, voltage is stable, but current is not because it's finding its way into the battery. <coughs> so I think, I guess, from how this charging is going, and now it's set it up for 1.5 amps folks I tell you from how this charging is going considering how much current it decreased from 4 to 9 volts I guess that, that when this battery pack will reach 11.1 volts we're gonna have a suddenly drop in the current not a smooth, uh, <coughs> not a smooth uh, drop it could be for many reasons, I don't know, I didn't study those things, but could be that those batteries are metal nitrate and the common battery which I revive uh, are lithium power, lithium ions, lithium, 
lithium, lithium ion cells could be because of that <coughs> but here we got this charging we got a charging like this so I'm gonna let you there watching the current <coughs> just for some moment I'll go take a cigarette and I'll take a shit <laughs> take a massive shit uh, yeah I'm still injured on, those, on this finger so take a look to the battery for me I'll be back Again. So how the charging is going? Pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I didn't record it on the procedure of cracking open the battery. It's been me hurting me and all the beginning <coughs> troubleshooting, but that's no big deal fine still have 40 something degree here yeah for a really nice job you should just disconnect <coughs> the plus and the minus from the board and connect the power supply right there but I wanted to <coughs> try something different today so I'll prepare the glue which yeah this is a valid example of the charger of the board on a on a lithium ion battery that's this board as you can see we got where the plus and the minus goes and then we got the output <coughs> so my glue here super glue I'm gonna use super glue let's give a check again to the voltage
<clears throat> Oops, we got nine and something. Still, I'm gonna slide to the connector. But it's fine. <clears throat> That's charging nice and easy. We got a drop. Now we are one point two amps. That's not true. <coughs> to get a constant reading from my probes like this just stacking yeah those probes are kind of heavy anymore so I'm gonna unplug it with a check to the battery how we're going right here we got 7 volts 0 0.90 if I try to press this button says low <coughs> so I'll step a moment current from getting in I'm gonna apply my probe right here somewhere where I can stack it like this I'm gonna apply the minus right here I'm gonna apply the probe. So stack it. Like this, you're gonna try again. <coughs> now we're getting voltage.
got almost one amp. <clears throat> Nine volts here. We got less than a than an amp. Charging it. As you see, as we're gonna reach 11 volts, now it's 9.30, don't know if you can read it properly, oops, There's no reading still, that means the threshold is pretty high. Because the voltage <coughs> cannot drop that much. <sighs> By the way, we went up from 4 volts <coughs> to 9. It's pretty, pretty good. Battery batteries are responding nicely to the stimulus it's it just needs time So the battery is slowly, slowly charging. Power supply is, is adapting on the request. Bridge of this power supply. Nineteen volts, three point sixteen amps.
Yeah, okay, that's almost one amp. As I said, it increased. Eleven point one volt. Try to see what we got. We got 19, we're gonna try something different, we're gonna connect directly the battery, is it plus? Is the minus? Not all of this. I'm gonna push some the amperage, as you see. Let's say one point eight. The still limit, the still limit of one amp and something. So we are at nine thirty.
Yeah, those are white, white, those this yellow, this white. Those are the single cells. There's no reading. Yeah, we got five bones here. We got one. Point twenty there. So it could be that some battery is dead. Could that be? some time still there's no short on the board by, by the way I think it's really difficult to get a short on those boards it's possible still but it's really difficult so I'm gonna let it go for a while and then <coughs> you can see back again it works I come back as you can see and here I did a fan because I thought that that could be, that can be some sort of thermal couple inside the battery which won't allow proper charger because the battery were hot and as you can see we are below 1 amp which is good. Now actually the batteries are charging. The, that just that three volts. And I want to understand if there's a fault of one battery. If it's faulty one battery or uh, I don't know what. Battery is a pretty warm, especially here. By the way, the fan helps. We are nine nine sixty right now. And now we are fastly approaching the zero, the zero current. Yeah, I think there was some sort of thermal couple stopping it, preventing it from charging. As you can see, as the resistance increase. I guess that there's that control kicking in. That's interesting. I want to update the BIOS. I 
my laptop. Could this be possible? Just for updating a BIOS. That's bad. charging get stuck at 1.2 amps I guess because of the thermocouple <coughs> good morning I'm still getting some sorrows Spamming, calling, all the time spam calling. Temperature is actually dropping nicely. Yeah, the thing of the thermal couple, I don't know how could I think about that. But uh, that's a pretty big issue. Especially because this is not a laptop charge. This is not a mobile battery. This is a laptop battery, so it makes sense. Send an audio to my friend. Where from? Edai. Sì, ho fatto ieri, l'altro ieri malattia perché ho il dito con il fonale, Dio buono. E niente. Si lavora un botto a casa. Sì, sì. Che com'è, caro? Ma ti ha rinnovato testa a casa, che ti ha detto?
So, let's give it a check, shall we? We went upon the 9.30 level. Still charging nice and smoothly. I'll pause a second. Come back, fellas. As you can see, we are at 800, 0.8 milliamp, 800 milliamps. We go in. So here we are, folks. Jeez, this thing is slow as that by starving I'm actually tired of this pissed off so now I'm gonna flip the camera like this gonna flip the camera like this then I'll do I'll do other things because and have uh, all life to wait for that. So we have right here in the laptop. is actually pretty good but there's a short there's a short maybe or maybe there's a short or the keyboard is just bad so I'll try to see if we get something I want to understand if the keyboard is faulty or if we got a short so I'm gonna plug these somewhere. Nice and stuck to ground. And I'm gonna pass all those connectors. There's the first connector stuck on ground. No, no, maybe it's supposed to be like that. But it seems strange. Seems strange. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to press the button to see if something changes. By the way, I must say, this keyboard, it's faulty. Couple of buttons. There are the screws here. There are no screws here, so, as you can see, maybe, yep. The fan stay in place, that would be nice. Thank you so much. Change turn. Here we have it. So, as you can see, there are missing buttons right here and right here. And I want to see pressing the other buttons change something or not. So, I'm gonna plug my probe right here. I'm gonna yeah, this is the on-off button. Probably just moved. So let's play the probe. Stuck to ground somewhere. I like here. Let me see. So like this, there's only one short in the beginning. 
we plug in the keyboard let's see what we got we got the short on the top and still no short We got some loosey, some sort of loosey connection. Only the first pin is shorted, stuck to ground, keyboard or not, which is pretty good. So pressing the button should uh, make something. If it is power on that button, I guess, because there's no... There's I didn't check if there's a button on the chassis. Again, my probe. So we got this strong connection to ground. Let's see. So they're dispersed, and the second, which are actually shorted. Yeah, we have five. Geez, that battery it's 4000 milliamp, folks. 4000, so it will take a while. So we said short to the first, short to the second, third, nothing, fourth, nothing, fifth, nothing, 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 nothing. Here we have a short. Here we have a short. But not that short. So 
so I spotted a couple of locations I'll remove the ribbon and I'll check if they're shorted even without the ribbon first and second yeah so no oh no 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 Now we're gonna go through place of the short and there's no so I mean yeah the keyboard is shorted somehow the thing here is that the owner actually played played quite a lot with this board I mean not the board with the keyboard so that might be button is actually short let's see if something change just pulling it got where's the problem I'm gonna place some thin pieces of something under the keyboards <laughs> so that I can understand if there's a failure there or not so I need something thin thin this I just broke order just brought the order in my office and now that I need some crap there's no yeah we have some crap right here left to work crap crap I'm gonna place it just under stay nice and tall where they can break this in half so we'll have the proper fit need some plastic good old plastic see 
still have that short. The only way to know is to plug the board, so yeah, plugs. And it took me two hours to put back to put those together. And now I'm gonna remove it. It's fine. Yeah, this this button looks pretty pretty shorty. In fact, it's destroyed. So I'm gonna pull my piece of plastic. It's right here. Now we're gonna see. We still have that short. Plug it right there. Check if we have our shorts here, shall we? So we stuck this here. First is too short, it's second is too short. Now around the middle of the connector. Here we have it. Here we have a short. Not really short. You know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. <coughs> I'm gonna see if I can if I can be sure of which pin it's around it's this and this. So I'm gonna try to to boot it. Without the so the keyboard just power supply is fully populated, so I'm gonna plug it like this, then it's connected. See if we can do something. So which which pin was short to ground actually? I 
اینجوری It's not short anymore. That's funny. That's pretty funny. You're telling me that now it works? That's actually pretty funny. So there was these. This fella right here. the short I don't remember <laughs> it was so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to all here we have it it's playing right here this on the side is good this on the side is good so it's this pin right here okay so let's try see if we have a fan spin or what Spin. So let's use it easy.
is it stuck on ground? Interesting. So, as uh, we said that the stock being is this one, now looks fine, without the keyboard looks just fine. So let's try to start it, hoping without damage or nothing. Here we have it. We got a light. Got some warming up. We got a fan spin. So fine. That's the keyboard for sure. That's a fan spin, which is nice. So we got, we got where's the problem on this laptop? Problem on this laptop is the keyboard. And then we'll go to the second problem. How we remove the keyboard? Oops. How we remove the keyboard from here? Can we just fix it? Maybe the issue is not there, there's a lot of crap set of this keyboard. Could be that. Could be that. So mostly, if I want to remove this keyboard, I have to remove this black plating anyway.
No, no. Pretty happy that I fixed that issue, that I mean, I understand where's the issue. There's a short on the keyboard. understand how this thing works Oh, that's a mess. <laughs> or I have light. Or I see what I do. Both. Seems to be not possible. This seems to be the correct orientation. And it not be easy because here, ciao. Yeah, it's pretty legit, so fuck it, I'm gonna pull the keyboard. So we have four screws there. just can't move the keyboard without damaging those things.
keyboard wasn't supposed to be changed. Every popping sound you hear, it's a revenge on somebody who thinks that I'm not changing this keyboard because of the crappy design. So I guess that with this sort of damage, customer was aware that the PC was dying. Yeah. I can imagine the face of the engineer who designed this crappy way of stacking the keyboard. I can imagine, I'm imagining looking to me like, what the fuck, dude? What the hell are you doing to my good design keyboard? I'm changing it, bro. I'm changing it because your crappy design is what makes it virtually unfixable. And there's no point. It's completely pointless do something unfixable you are a criminal because you pollute many times when you create it and when you discard it and now I'm here with your effort of making this not repairable going all over my place and do I look like somebody who gives a fuck? Yeah, I mean, I respect the work, but in the first place you should, do, you should do something more respectful for Earth, for the humankind, for mankind, I mean. stuck because of this crappy design today is 
Now I make I got this off. And now you have your shame all over the place. All over the place. Your shame won't be my shame too. Won't be my shame. Damn bass. You shameful damn bass. Shell too, and it's pretty stuck. I'm gonna do it this way. Here we have it. How the hell on earth this thing was? Come on, you just can't fix it. With this moronic way of doing things because that's what you are <coughs> that's what you are a moron here we have it fucking keyboard yeah and they will use the same chassis you dumb fuck and just glue it in place yeah this is this is damaged There's a permanent short right there. <coughs> so here we have it, our good looking keyboard. I buy it there. That's it. I'll buy a spare. Jesus. Let me rotate here. Pulling that keyboard was pretty messy. As you can see, we are now for four hundred ninety. <coughs> Let's give it a, a quick voltage test. Almost 10, 10 watts, 10 watts, let's see it at pause for a moment, for an extra moment. Okay folks, so here the thing is taking an enormous amount of time. We went over 10 volts. And meanwhile, I keep on doing things. Here we are. Yeah, here we are, my dirt floor. 
here we are to another board. So we have it. That's a nice board. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty strong one. I'll see. I show you. Attach charger. Nothing. Zero. Total zero. Oops. That's sad because it's a great, it's a great, uh, great laptop. So now I'm gonna plug a charger. I'm gonna check the voltages. Check some voltage, shall we? <laughs> do, 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 do. So we got a nice ground. Check the rail. Can see shit. I place it here like this, so you can see. So we got 19 volts here. We got. 19 volts here on the first MOSFET we got 19 volts here on the second MOSFET we got here on the output 19 volts on the other drive there's nothing there it should be minus should be minus uh, if this is 19 volts this should be minus 19 volts uh, but there's a short we have a short that that's not short not so short. And not, nothing right there. Zero. So let's go on, check the voltage. One volt. That's one volt. One volt only. This cap zero, this z one volt, one volt. There's one volt of output. Yeah, sometimes you will hear some some sparks. This definitely sparked. funny I mean not that much but it's some sort of funny so we're gonna be back plugging our nice proper drive here I got zero so something is exploded so let me check voltage here Voltage on the battery. Got a pretty fast discharge. Now we got 4.5 volts. Don't tell me it was useless for the time I spent working on this damn thing. So I 
We got the Black Dead, the Red Heat. 4.5. We got the message part. What the hell exploded? We got 4.5. I don't know what sparked, but whatever sparked fucked up the battery. Three volts. So I need to buy a brand new battery. This bad boy right here. I don't know how, but it fucked itself to death. Bend on the board. You got three twenty. Three twenty. Jesus, we have uh, almost there. Uh, This cell right here is pretty hard. So, got a dead battery, folks. That was just a massive waste of time. Well, I learned something. I've learned something. So, I don't know how I was fly. Crocodiles. I plug uh, discard those batteries into the discarding place for batteries. Yeah, I broke I broke my my, my cup today. It's not my favorite, but that's a cup. There we have. Card of the batteries, plug it there together with all the other batteries. So now you know what we keep there. <laughs> so that's it. I'm gonna be back doing the serious things now, finally. Boom, 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 boom. Wrong. Transform, rotate. Here we have it. So, yeah, the stink of of the acid of the battery. Got a battery who lost it itself on the process. <laughs> Things that happen. Things that happen. So I said, ah, yeah, the board does three blinks, as you can see, since when I have it added. So now we're gonna try the MOSFETs. Yeah. 
min 0 0 19 0 so we got nothing here nothing here on this choke we got 2.8 2.8 oops 2.8 2 2.8 2.9 2.8 2.9 and here's 0 so Let's check for some shorts. Yeah, like this is way better. I have it on my side. Remember, folks, always work comfortable. So we got our ground here. So on this rail, we are fine. On this rail, we are not. Got 2.8, 2.8, which is not enough. We got a short that's not so short. So we're gonna check for ground around I said 20 mega ohms. Yeah, here is pretty bad. All this rail is pretty bad, it's going too short. So not this way. This way is short. So could be that this component right here could be that. The call propped. Yeah, this is actually it's going to ground. Hmm. I remember if I check that cap right there, let me check it. First, second MOSFET. So here we got a gate, and maybe it's open. See what we got here. Here we got pretty short resistance. Here we got a 
a massive resistance yeah it's on this side right here and that's not the MOSFET MOSFET seems to be fine but this cap no this cap looks bad let's see what we got here something like a short see what we got here something like a short what we got here oops something like a short So here we got a short, that that's not so short. Yeah. So we're gonna do like this. I'm gonna remove something. And I'm gonna place a nice wire bringing current yeah components here looks pretty bad but I want to understand where it goes this short so here is definitely shorted here is definitely shorted So I'm gonna pull this component right here. And we're gonna check. Where, I'm gonna remove that gate and we're gonna check where the short goes. Is this really short, some short or super short? So I need my other station. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Other station in place. My nice set of tweezers. I'm gonna remove this component right here. And we're gonna place a wire right there. Instead of it. So we're gonna see where the short goes. Gonna increase light to the air.
Here we have it. Save the component right there. Gonna solder the wire. Just like that, yeah, you can see the action on camera, sorry about that, so let's check if I was sure this is still there, no it's pretty strong, I mean, there's resistance. There are three mega homes right there. Yeah, so the short it's around here where I place my wire. So now, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug my power supply. The stink of burned flux, whatever. I take my nice power supply. As you can see right there. I'm gonna turn it on. Oops, not when I have in my hands like this. We're gonna set uh, five volts, one point eight amps. That's it. Turn it on. Never remember which is minus, which is plus. It's on stable. So we got it folks, 499, as you can see, so on black is minus, I'm gonna plug it here, and green is plus, I'm gonna plug it there, but I'm gonna remove the current, so. Seems that there's no short. Eleven millivolts. No, sorry, eleven milliamps. It's a pretty short short. So 17, 70 amps, 0 0.70 amps, that's not enough.
So we're gonna solder a wire, folks. Just like this. It's a no go go. Yes, 100. It's not going. Take this, I'm gonna solder it there. Yeah, that's a pretty crappy solder job, solder job. Make this is way better. So I'm gonna plug this here. I'm gonna try again, same as before. So it's a short, very short. Let's check with my multimeter. Ohm resistor right there. So the MOSFET is eating the power. The MOSFET is eating the power. So the MOSFET, which is a semiconductor, it's eating the power. So I guess for a correct troubleshoot, I have to remove that MOSFET. I think so. But anyway, the short is here around. It's not here far. So let's try to inject the voltage and let's try to check the voltage if we have some leak around here. No, 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 no. So we got, we got 5 volts here, 5 volts here, no volt out, no volt out, we got 5 volts here, 
no volt out you got 5 volts here and no volt out yeah that's impossible because there's no oh, it's going through anyway how is possible The voltage just found this way out. Zero point three milliamps. Three milliamps. It's not enough. So from somewhere they have to pass. Whoa, what's that? Ten volts. F five here and ten there. That's bad. Yeah, maybe voltage is going through the coil. But shouldn't this be ground? So we got 11 volts here. 11 volts there. And 5 on the MOSFET. So if I stop power supply and if I plug once again this charger we have 25 volts there 19 volts there Out of the MOSFET, we got a zero. Uh, this says we got 19. Here we got zero. Yeah, I think they found the bastard. Right in front of the MOSFET. Let's pull that fella. Let's pull it away. Pull it away from our good looking board. Hands on board, hands on. So let's pull it. Need my nice tweezers. That's it. Oh crap. 
they're so tiny component okay so let's see if we still got a short still have it that short how oh, that gate could be 15 that is not connected ah oh, that's not voltage 0 0.2 and that's not so poor even the MOSFET have to do Let's pull the mouse back. Good boy, Mosfet. So that's it. Let's check it. got some sort of resistance so here is one maybe zero let's see oh but there's a there's a mess right there Is that mess? Jeez, I stink. A pretty hot day today.
So now, yes, now we can say that the MOSFET is free and there is no gate in the way. So let's check. So now we got. There's no short. Let's try that like this now. So now I pull the semiconductor. Because maybe the MOSFET was eating it, was eating the power from the board. Got 12. Twenty four milliamps. There must be another semiconductor in the way. Could be that huge coil. So let's try to push on the voltage. Talking about few milliamps. Still not a very short. That's just a tiny, tiny short. Not cute. Tiny. Only tiny. Close a look. Yeah, another closer look. So I'm going to clean some of this solder pad right this pad right here. it so let's check the resistance to ground of all these things. Now that there's no MOSFET and, the, and there's not even the tiny pad. Tiny pad. So here it's healthy. We got a full six. Here we got a 0 0.2. Here we got 0 0.2. Here we got 0 0.3, 0 0.1. Zero. 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 Yeah, so shorts will be definitely be around here. Let's 
see on this side that we got some short or if it is everything nice and healthy 14, 30, 0, right, 0, 0, 13, 0, good, good, could be this, here's 0.2, and this here is 0 could be this, this fella right here that's uh, 220 that's a 220 we got 0 and we got 0 so let's try to pull it. Yeah, my hotel station is gonna hate me because of all this turning on and off. Don't worry, cutie. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's a 220. That's connected right to the RAM. Let's check it out. This is supposed to be like this. Let me see that the short is gone, but I don't think so. Nope. Short is still there. By the way, there's no going under here. Should be on this side of the board, so let's place that 200 thing in, in its place. 200 thing, that's fine. So that's nice and in place. You know what? Tired of this shit. I'm gonna pull the whole series of caps there. And I'm gonna see when and if that will go away. 
So first things first, I'm gonna plug back these, some trucks. Because we've seen that that's not an issue. Nice. Then gonna plug back this fella right here. Right there. Nice in place. So let's see. Let's see how we do. Still shorted. So I'm gonna remove all this sorcery right here. to escape and I did there I'm gonna check how is the issue and it's still there some fluxy flux So I'm going to pull all that components. Four. I 
got those tiny ones. I'm gonna pull them too. No mercy. See how we go, how we do. She got her on ground. And we still have our short folks. That's stunning. I pulled all the caps in that place. Folks, don't know. I'll plug it in for some test with the power supply, but then I'll take a break. Because I'm starting to get tired and it's getting later too. Two important things uh, as bringing my dog for a walk. Which is pretty important. it that's it Let's see what the power supply will say short folks we got it as you can see we are in a range of 200 to a, two full amps finally I only could find my yep there's something steaming don't know what it is pretty interesting I'll add the microscope now that the thing is juicy you can hear my power supply whining it's taking two full amps which is pretty good if I could only find where the heck here Yeah, I see you. I want to show you folks.
That's a diode which is steaming. Look at that. crazy how much you set it up I think 5 amps and this fella it's boiling it's dancing on its own look at that look at that That's a short. Look at him go. It's going fucking crazy. That's a diode. There's a diode right there. I don't know, I think that I checked that diode. It wasn't too bad. But there's nothing else. There's only this fella right here steaming hard. Look at that. Pretty wild, huh? Yeah, it's that. It's not a choke. Chokes aren't boiling. The only thing that boils is that thing right there. So I'll quit it because I don't want to destroy it. I need to read what does Britain. Yeah, pretty wild situation down there. You can see that it's steaming pretty hard. So folks, this thing is going too much for mushrooms. I would be just glad to read what does Britain. What's that? A four? Or an M? That's four and something. Four minus. You can see shit. It looks as a four minus. Four 
could be don't have any idea seems to be 4 minus that's 4 minus, it's taking 4 amps Oh, sorry, 2 amps and a half. 2 amps, 95 millivolts. Whoa, that's hot. And that's clean. Thank you. Now we can read it. 4. Something like this. So, folks, kind of happy. Yeah, I'm freezed. I'm freezed, but I'm not freezed. But I'm freezed, I'm freezed. I'm freeze, 3 to 1, I'm freeze yourself and go back to the co proper resolution yeah yeah, I have the camera on my face so folks pretty happy <coughs> satisfied 3 hours it worked a lot I understand one issue, I understand two issues, and that's awesome. That's awesome. So, see you this evening. We're gonna pull that cap, we're gonna pull that component, and see what we can do to fix this board.